Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my 2023 Q3 flip through which will be July, August, and September in this video. And I will go ahead and link the first six months, the two flip throughs I did for the first six months up above in the eye, as well as my just flip through playlist. If you have any questions, let me know down below, as well as hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like flip through videos and let's go ahead and get into it. Here we have just my monthly dashboards, which you all never get to see. All of them are from Caress Press. And if you want greater details on any of these spreads, I have a plan with me on every single spread in this planner. So I will also link uh, my 2023 plan with me playlist up above. But this is a kit that I know is from Scribble Prince Co. And I did lots of different tricks for this one to get all the boxes in because we all know I like to include all of the art because I'm the type of person that only uses a kit once. So I got one shot to get it right. Um, this was the week of the 4th of July. I'm just doing pop culture kits in my planner this year and I just thought the colors of this one just worked for what I needed it to. Um, this was the day that Taylor Swift released a song that featured Fall Out Boy. Um, I had some meetings for work. I hit a milestone on Instagram, which is always exciting. Uh, I don't feel like um, I FaceTimed Keaton. I just feel like this was just a very, you know, average week. This, however, was not. Um, this is a kit from Simply a Mess, who is a shop that is unfortunately no longer open. Um, but this is a concert themed kit because this was the week that I saw Fall Out Boy. And at this point in time, we didn't know if they were going to do another tour or what the deal was. So I wanted to definitely commemorate seeing them because they are my favorite band. So I worked in the beginning of the week and then we had to travel to go to this show so we had some time and we went and saw Ele El oh my god can't speak elemental um and then we basically did show things that day and this was the day i gave um andy my license plate and then we saw the show and it was very very good and then we drove home the next day and i was exhausted and as you can see here the script is very messed up it keeps like sticking to something on this side of the page and that's one reason too i decided to start getting my scripts foiled by hannah um, and then this night I went and saw Blink-182 with one of my coworkers. So I'm insane. This was a double duty kind of week. Definitely a busy concert time. And I love this spread. Moving into the next week. Um, this was the week the Barbie movie came out, but also the week I saw Ed Sheeran at the Ryman. Um, gotta give this one a little wiggle because, you know, so much pink foil so good so good um so yeah like I said saw Ed Sheeran at the Ryman on his subtraction tour and just blew my mind I'm still obsessing over him which doesn't happen a lot of times um after I see a, an artist I kind of usually move on for a bit but I he's just that show was everything second best show of the year next to one I talked about in my Q2 flip through. Um, but like I said, I went and saw the Barbie movie this week. I used as many Barbie stickers as I had, which were from Stick With The Plan Co., Scribble Prints Co., and Carly Plans. But now I have a sheet as well from Once More With Love, um, but didn't have those at the time. It was the adoptiversary of my cat, Olivia. And that's like kind of like the big stuff for this week then moving in to july 24th through the 30th this was the week that haunted mansion came out and i did a haunted mansion themed spread 
which if you don't know in the ride, there is this purple wallpaper with black detailing. So I recreated that using Alicia Craft underlays and the spread makes my heart sing. Um, I laid everything down before seeing the movie. So I would have moved some characters into different spots. Like I literally hid the main character under here. Um, because the only actor I really knew was Owen Wilson. I don't know. Um, and I just thought the girls were so pretty that I wanted them front facing. And we already had one Madame Leota. I don't know why I feel like I need to explain all this right now. I digress. I went and saw Haunted Mansion in theaters. And then I did watch the Eddie Murphy version, which has the in front of it. The one that just came out this year is just Haunted Mansion. I don't know why they did that. Um, but that was the big theme um, of the week. I had my HVAC unit leak in my gym again and we still haven't fixed the ceiling. So that's fun to know. Um, did lots of reading, still really into reading and just other than that, kind of an average week. I used the stretching portraits for every day that I worked and I just thought that was like the cutest thing ever. Moving into August, we have my pretty dashboards. And then we have the first week of August, which is a kit from Liner Designs that is Fern Gully inspired. Um, and I just paired it with a bunch of green foil because I just felt like green was the move with this kit. Um, maybe gold, but I was kind of like worried about messing it up again, like I did my Lilo and Stitch spread from Q2. We had the big double box here, and this week I had to watch the movie. Was this the week? Is this the week Big Brother premiered? Was that the first time I'm marking that? I think so. I think this was the, yeah, because I put the 25 there for the season. So this was the start of Big Brother, which is like a big part of my life. One of the only shows I watch, actually I think it might be the only show currently, um, when House of Dragon Rings of Power returned, that might change, but you know, apparently I was beyond irritated this day with work. I FaceTimed with Keaton and my friend Lauren this week, and my mom came over, lots of Tito this week, which I love that dog to death, so I'm not complaining. Oh look, I posted in my Q2 flip, that's funny. Um, and then mom and I were finishing up watching the TV show Nashville at this point, um, so just remember that. And we might not have been done done yet, but it has to be getting close. Um, so this week is August 7th through the 13th, and this is the week of my dad's birthday. So I used this Pirates of the Caribbean spread that I manually mixed the metal on, and like, how good is this? How good is this? Like, mm, so good. Um, so I obviously had to watch all of the pirate movies this week, um, because I don't know what you do, but... When I have theme spreads, I have to watch the movies. Jessica and I booked our trip to Disney World this week, which is just very exciting. That trip has now happened. Um, although I don't know when this is going up, so I don't know if that plane with me is up yet. So if it's not, subscribe. If it is, I will link it. Um, we booked our flight. Mom and I started watching Queen Charlotte and we just realized that we never finished it and we need to pick that back up. Um, but yeah, other than that, just my dad's birthday. I'm not seeing anything like too, too exciting on here. So I was like, did I go to a concert this week? I don't think so. Moving into the next week, this is a Leonard Designs exclusive art kit that is like Scooby-Doo Spooky Island themed, which I just had to use. And this foil is also from her shop. So big shout out to Leonard Designs there. Um, this was the day we like celebrated my dad's birthday with him and it was great. And then I watched Scooby-Doo, like the one that goes with this kit this night. Um, I watched a bunch of Scooby-Doo this week, I feel. 
yeah, I watched the second one in the series, which there was two, and then I watched the animated one, Scoob, because I had never finished it. I was on a plane, and they cut the movies off when I had seven minutes left in the movie. So, um, my passport came in the mail. Oh, this was the week of, like, the whole ticket debacle. I bought my parents' tickets to the wrong night because they had made it really confusing so they gave them to their friends to go because they couldn't go that night and then their friends got their car stolen it was the whole thing then this is another liner designs kit with a foil and it's regrets themed so let's see i think this was when i started watching sister wives and I was dealing, still am dealing with a lot of mental health stuff. I was playing Animal Crossing because I was kind of talking to somebody at that time that was playing Animal Crossing. It didn't go anywhere. Um, lots of issues with my food coming with meat in it recently. Um, oh, this was the day that I left work early because I was sick, which is fun and now my mom came over and yeah I'm not seeing did I write when we finished now oh yeah here here's where we finished Nashville it's like I'm not seeing that so we must have finished it so yeah we were on to sister wives and then this week is also Liner Designs and it is how to lose a guy in 10 days this is when I had my first pumpkin spice latte of this fall season, which is so exciting. My dad came over to do the grass and Tito wanted to go home with him and mom and I felt very betrayed. It was Tito's adoptiversary and my dad came over and dropped him off to surprise us with him, which was just very nice. Um... We installed the TV in my gym. I need to quit playing with my tweezers. That's what that clink was. I'm sorry. I got my aura ring and... They sneaked a possibility of a tour, which was exciting. I was trying to figure out what that meant and it just clicked. Uh, my mom and Tito left. I watched all three of Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we get into our final month for this flip through, which is September. Here we have the Lady Tremaine kit from Scribble Prince Co. And all this foil is from Hannah. And this is the start of me getting Hannah to foil my scripts. It's just so gorgeous. I'm loving it. My dad brought me flowers as a surprise when he came to mow the grass. Um, there is more sneaks for a tour, which is just very exciting. I wore my shorts backwards to work. That was funny. We got the tour announcement, which always gives me ticket anxiety. I'm sure we will see that marked the following week. I watched the live action A Little Mermaid. Um... I think that's about it for this week. I don't think there's anything, again, very exciting. My life gets kind of, I don't know, September was kind of just boring. Um, this was a labyrinth kit from Scribble Prince Co. Um, and, yep, here it is. I marked that I had ticket anxiety for Fallout Boy. I got all the tickets I wanted. It was finally close. That was not going to be English that came out of my mouth. Cold enough to wear sweatpants. I started Throne of Glass. Did not finish it. I honestly was listening to it on audiobook and started zoning out and missed a bunch. And now I'm really confused. So I feel like I have to start it over. But I'm ringing, reading. Oh my gosh, why can I not speak all of a sudden? Fourth Wing. Demi Lovato's read revamped. Struggle Bus is real. Um, came out that day... I completed a workout program. My mom came over again. Yeah, just a pretty good week. 
And then this kit is from Planner Pixie Co. And I use red, blue, and gold foil for it because it is a Snow White themed. Pulled in all the Snow White stickers humanly possible like I like to do. Um, but yeah, this was the start. This whole month I was not sleeping well, so I was really like tracking a lot of that. Um, my mom was over, so lots of playing games with her, watching TV, that kind of thing. Work surprised me with a gift, which was very nice. We got my windows washed. Um, I got Olivia Rodrigo tickets. Mom and I laughed until we cried, which is always fun. Um, I was feeling left out at work. Uh, my dad came over for dinner, pretty basic week. And then the last but not least spread in this, in this quarter is this Long Live Cowgirls kit from Planner Pixie Co. And this was the day, this whole spread was in honor of mom and I going to the Nashville live reunion tour with the cast of the TV show Nashville. And I am not a country music person to say the least. I'm definitely an emo kid. If y'all haven't heard that yet, um, if you're new, the spread is very out of my wheelhouse. But that being said, I love it. The concert was great. They were amazing live. And this foil from Planner Pixie Co. and Playing With Me stickers is just so good. So... This was a big thing. Also, Lucy was not eating, which my dog is a little piggy. Um, she would devour anything if you put it down on a normal day. So it's very concerning when she's not hungry. So she finally started eating this day. Again, I wasn't sleeping while Survivor and The Amazing Race started. Still loving those shows. Um, Michael Gambon died. He was the guy that played Dumbledore. In Sync released a new song. Um, Tuck Everlasting. I watched that movie because he was in Nashville and I used to have a crush on him growing up, so I had to. I found a dog wandering my neighborhood and reunited it with its owner. And then this day was the day that the NFL broadcast a game through Disney Plus and like they animated it in real time and it was like Toy Story themed and it was just so <laughs> interesting that I had to mark it because I just felt like it just went with this spread like using bullseye I don't know I guess I could have used Woody or Jesse too in hindsight but it was unique enough for me to mark but that is going to wrap up this flip through. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, sorry that I'm a bit of a hot mess express. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Remember, if you are struggling, you are not alone. My DMs are open for you on the Instagram. It is Rosie Plans like it is here. You are amazing. You are worthy. You are loved. Leave any questions, comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't. I hope you all have a good day, afternoon, morning, evening, night, wherever, whenever you are, where you are watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.